Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will show how to enable debug trace logging in an Avaya Media Server or AMS that is used in an AACC solution. Also, it will cover how to capture the AMS log files to your PC. First, I will go over a couple of slides with information about enabling the AMS debug trace logging and capturing the log files. The Avaya Media Server is used to anchor SIP calls in an Avaya or a contact center solution. By default, the AMS debug trace logging is not enabled. You should only enable debug trace when it's required for troubleshooting problems. To do this, log into the AMS Element Manager web interface as an administrative user to enable the debug trace logging. This is done through System Configuration Debug Tracing General Settings. One important note is to never check the box for Enable System Diagnostic Mode unless told to do so by AACC Development. This diagnostic mode can severely impact AMS system performance. You can also use the AMS Element Manager interface to capture the AMS logs and store them on your PC. This is done through Tools Log Capture. The log files will be captured into a WinZip file, which will be downloaded to the directory you select on your PC. One thing to note, the logs for the optional agent greeting feature are not collected with the AMS log capture. If these logs are needed to troubleshoot an agent greeting issue, they will have to be downloaded separately through the operating system. The text highlighted on this slide shows the directory location of the agent greeting log files, depending on whether AMS is running on a Linux or Windows operating system, and if AMS is standalone or co-resident with the AACC application. Now I will demo how to enable the debug trace logging and capture the log files. For this demo, I am logged into the Element Manager for a Lab AMS system. The blurred area towards the top of the screen is covering the server name and IP address for security purposes. It is not a problem with the recording or the screen. To begin, expand Debug Tracing under the System Configuration heading in the left pane. Now select General Settings. In the General Settings window, click the drop-down arrow for Debug Logging and change it to Enabled. By default, the trace file history will be set to 5. You can set this field from 0 to 20 to control how many log files will be saved before the oldest is overwritten. I will set this field to 3. The default trace file size is set to 1 million bytes. Valid values are 100,000 to 100 million bytes. I will leave this field set to the default. Again, remember, do not check the box for Enable System Diagnostic Mode unless directed to by AACC Development because of the potential impact to system performance. Now click the Save button to change the settings. Once you have finished troubleshooting, it is good practice to disable the debug tracing as leaving it enabled can have some impact on performance. You would follow the same steps except select Disabled instead of Enabled. Now I will demo how to capture the log files to a WinZip file on your PC. First scroll to the bottom of the left pane. 
Select Log Capture under the Tools heading. In the Log Capture window, click the box next to Include Trace Logs. Then you will click the download link just above that checkbox to begin the log capture process. Depending on the number and size of the log files, this can take several minutes, so be patient. For this video, I will cut much of the time spent waiting for the file download window to appear, so several minutes will be compressed to several seconds. When the file download window appears, click on Save to download the WinZip file to your PC. In the Save As window, select or create a folder to store the zip file. I will save this file into a folder I named AMS Logs. The file name will default to troubleshooting archive underscore followed by the four digit year, two digit month, and two digit day. Then that will be followed by the time in 24 hour format. The extension will be set to dot zip. You can change the file name, but I would recommend using the default as it contains the date and time the file was created. Leave the Save As type as WinZip file. Then click the Save button. The file will be transferred to the directory on your PC. Then you can click Open Folder to start Windows Explorer for that directory. The WinZip file that I just downloaded shows up in the folder. Double click the file name to open it with WinZip. There will be several subfolders under the Logs folder that contain the various AMS log files. Now this WinZip file can be sent to Avaya support personnel for troubleshooting. Now I'm going to close the WinZip and Explorer AMS log directory window. This concludes the demo on enabling the AMS debug trace and log capture. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.